Hey Glam Fam, Chrissy Beauty here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did a very um, semi-vibrant cut crease. Uh, it's been really hot these past couple days and out here in Riverside it's 99 degrees. So I decided to do something colorful and vibrant because it feels like summer and I'm currently sweaty because my fan is off while I'm doing this. But yeah, if you guys want to see what I use for this makeup look, then please keep on watching. It's about to get so hot in here because I have to turn off the fan so I can film and it's like 99 degrees out here in Riverside right now. So. And I'm in an oven now. It's great. Loving it. So if you see sweat, you know why. I need to get one of those like mini fans. Okay, so to start, you need to find your crease. You know, whether you have an actual crease or a fake crease, you know, people have like, um, what is it? Kind of like the foldable lids. I have a foldable lid. If there's a term for it, I'm not thinking of it right now. Um, so because I have that, I make a fake crease right here, right above where my actual crease would be. So I'm going to pick up this shade here, big gulp, okay, with a, what am I picking it up with? A Color More S22, so just a small detailing brush and we're going to apply that into our crease. Okay, if it's a little messy, we're going to clean it up with um, concealer after or a cut crease kind of look. So we're going to bring this, you know, pack it on to your desired um, vibrancy that you want for this shade. Okay, so now we're going to go into to the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. And we're going to pick up Dream Maker. And we're going to blend out any harsh lines. And we're just going to start blending everything up toward the brow. We are dragging it toward the end of your eyebrow. Right where that little tail is, we are dragging it all the way down to there. At this point, if you wanted to add more of the first color we use, you can go back in and add more of that. Again, totally your preference, how vibrant you want this to be. If you are going to go back in, go in with a very, very, very light hand. Tip the furthest. Here's a tip. That's what I meant to say. The further you hold your brush with your fingers, the more control you have over the pressure. It gives you more of a lighter pressure as you're blending. If you see me start glowing, it's because I'm sweating. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer. I'm using a Jaclyn Hill JH43. So it's a flat brush. And I'm gonna pick up a little concealer at a time so I can cut my crease. If you don't feel so confident applying your concealer and doing just a straight line through, what you can do is use a flat brush like I was using and kind of stamp your line on and then go ahead and um, fill in the rest of it with your concealer. It makes it easier and cleaner and smoother if you're not so 100% confident and just kind of going in and automatically drawing the line. So for this, we are gonna like, uh, towards the end, flick it out because we're just gonna want this in our crease. And now I'm gonna go in with Catch Me and a clean Morphe M456 and pat that on to the part that we put the concealer in. So for that pale pink shade, what I did was just pat into, onto the lid, I mean, not into, <laughs> I pat onto the lid and then I started brushing. Because it is um, concealer, it's not going to like mess up the harsh line if you let it dry a little bit, which I did. So if you do that and then start patting, using patting motions and then blending, you should be good. And it won't move any of the concealer around. 
Okay, at this point we are gonna go in with eyeliner. Not too much of a dramatic wing, but a nice enough one. So I'm gonna draw my wing out first. not too big not too dramatic but it's not small either okay so as I let this dry I'm gonna go ahead and do excuse me as I let this eye dry with the eyeliner I'm gonna go ahead and go do this eye off camera and I'll be right back all right so the other eye is done I also uh, put lashes on too so that way I'll just get it done so now we're gonna go in with foundation Okay, we're gonna go with primer, then foundation. So I'm using this time Elf's uh, Poreless Matte Pity Primer, um, just because I do get super, super oily, especially during the summer because of sweat. So I don't like the fact that during summer, basically. I have to put on like a bunch of mattifying primers and setting spray foundations because if not, I look like I grabbed um, like olive oil and then use that after I finish my makeup and then just had that all over my face. It's pretty disgusting. I discovered that early on when I started wearing foundation in high school. Oh, high school, I used to See, like that's so much. I used to not wear foundation. I did um, just powder. So I had my compact powder and that's what I would wear. No primer or anything. I was never one for primer. I think I just started doing primer again. I did it for a little bit. Didn't like how it sat on my face. Like with my foundation, I just, I don't know. It felt gross to me. Okay. I'm sweating as I'm putting this on. So I like absolutely hate the sound um, a beauty blender makes against the skin. It literally annoys me so much. I think that's why typically when I'm getting ready on my own and I'm not filming, like I will, <laughs> I'll have music on. And like I'll have my AirPods in, I'll just have it like on a speaker and it's like so loud. And I think it's because I'm just trying to avoid hearing the sound that the beauty blender makes. All right guys, I'm going to turn on my fan. So I'm just gonna speed this along just so I have the fan a little bit while I'm getting ready. All right, back to being hot again. Okay, uh, my foundation is done set. So is my concealer, which oh, still so in love with this elf concealer. Ooh. Oh, I had a piece of light on my lashes. Okay, so I have this new makeup called Savvy Minerals by Young Living. Don't know what it is. My sister gave it to me, so 
I'm gonna try this. Um, what am I going to try from it? That is the question. I think a bronzer came in this though. Oh, it did. Okay, this bronzer is called uh, Summer Loved by, again, Savvy Minerals. Oh, I need to open it still. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna get so hot doing this. Alright. A little bit there. Ooh. Not a fan of shimmer bronzers, but I'll give it a go. Okay, so it's powder. So I should have known it's gonna be shimmer. Alright, okay. So it looks more like a contour shade, but try it. really pretty. No shimmer, so that's nice. And it's buildable, so it's even better. It's a little bit darker than what I would typically need. Okay, blush. Let's go ahead and um, I need to grab my blush palette, so I'll be right back. So blush, I'm going to use a coral blush, if I can open my mirror, there you go, mirror, I think I said that right, I use like a light coral shade, focusing on the apples and then dragging up, that's a pretty color. Now I have rosacea, so I naturally get more blush as the day progresses. So starting out, I typically don't put too, too, too much blush because I don't want to look all red. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit on my nose though. That's cute. Okay. I'm probably sweating so much I don't even need like a primer for my highlight like I typically do. So I'm just going to go into it. Um, I'm going to use Starburst and just apply that on the highs of my cheeks. Yep, didn't need that primer. Um, I think actually after this, I'm probably going to go over, probably going to apply a color on my lower lash line. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner because I want a bit of depth in the outer corner. I'm not using any coral or bright orange, bright whatever color I'm using or I use for these. I'm using Rebel and Sweetheart from the Tarte palette. So a very dark mauve and a very pale pink. All right. So for lip, I got lipsticks with this thing. There was one that I saw. Oh, this one. Okay, so again, the Savvy Minerals. This is a door. It is a lipstick. So I'm going to use this for my lipstick for today. This lipstick ended up, um, I mean, I'm not disappointed. It is really nice and it's very hydrating too. So that's always good for lipstick. And yeah, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next one.